Tesla's new 48 volt electrical system, it made possible what everyone's saying is probably the best feature of the Cybertruck, the steer by wire. Steer by wire enables you to have incredible steering control. It's completely different to anything that's ever been revealed in the automotive industry before. It's revolutionary. That and 48 volt architecture is coming to the new Tesla Model 2. Two variants, it'll come in, two different versions, but possibly three Tesla are saying, I'm excited. Tesla have just revealed some details, in fact, a whole lot of details about the new Tesla Model 2. We know for sure now that what I've been saying for more than, I believe, more than 18 months is true. There will be two versions of the Model 2. Not one, two versions. We also know a whole lot of other facts. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Tesla Model 2. We know when it'll be when it will begin production. Well, we don't really know. We know what Tesla said. Tesla said June of 2025. Well, they said the third quarter. Some people are saying that they've confirmed it'll be June. This is their new Model 2. They're calling it Redwood. So let's call it the Tesla Redwood. Two versions. One will be apparently more like a crossover vehicle, more like an SUV. The other one will be more like a hatchback. Uh, so something like uh, a Toyota Corolla, but obviously a lot better, a lot roomier. The Corolla is very small on the inside. It's been criticized for that. But Tesla is aiming to make the Model 2 be much more practical. So that's why there'll be a crossover version. But apparently the Model 2 will also have some other really interesting technology to enable it to be built really cheaply. Tesla, what they actually did is they purchased a Honda Civic, tore it to shreds, and they didn't just purchase a Honda Civic, by the way. They bought a number of different cars, basically took them apart piece by piece, tried to re-engineer them to work out how they could manufacture a vehicle at the lowest possible price. Speaking of low prices, have you heard a lot of manufacturers recently say, oh, we've just we've, we've raised prices because of the cost of materials. Our cost of production has increased. Well, interestingly, Tesla's cost of production has gone down, we know these numbers because Tesla has revealed them, gone down for every quarter in a row now for eight straight quarters. Every, every single quarter, Tesla's cost of production goes down. How are they doing this? One, they're manufacturing each new generation of cars differently. Right now, the best way to manufacture a car anywhere in the world, period, is what Tesla is doing with the Model Y structural battery packs in addition to having giga casting so two pieces make up the entire car two pieces that enables tesla to skip having to produce weld bond rivet glue everything else 171 other pieces but that's just for the rear so if you include the front and the rear it's hundreds of pieces toyota has confirmed this is true toyota said it's engineering genius that's what, in fact, a group of Toyota's engineers said, which was, you know, something that was a bit of a, a watershed moment for Tesla. Toyota just acknowledged the fact that Tesla is streets ahead of them with manufacturing. They've said this a few times, in fact. It's not just some random YouTuber guy making these crazy comments. It's actually what Toyota have, in, in fact, officially said themselves. But Tesla is saying, you know what, that's not enough. It's not enough. Model 2 cannot be made this way. We cannot produce an EV this way at the lowest possible price. How, how can we do it at the lowest possible price? One, new batteries. It'll be using new battery technology, and I'll talk about that on a new video. Two, it will have single piece gigacast. So you can call that the megacast. That's what I've called it. Other people have called it the megacasting technology. Elon Musk saw a die cast car. Have you seen those die cast little, little street racer cars you play with when you're a kid? You pull them apart, right? There's one, it's really just made of one piece. And Musk said, you know what? Why not build the Model 2 out of a single piece? Tesla is using the biggest gigapress, the biggest casting machine in the world, 9,000 ton casting machine. Currently the biggest, but someone else has just ordered a 12,000 ton machine, so it won't be the biggest for long. But anyway, they're using that for the Cybertruck, 9,000 ton. But Tesla are gonna get Hydra, the gigapress company, to manufacture a casting machine that can cast the entire car well, not the entire car, but the majority of the car in a single P. 
piece. Tesla has informed its suppliers. So suppliers have told uh, the media, numerous suppliers, that they've been told to ramp production now, as in get ready, start producing parts, be in position where you can manufacture 520,000 parts for, per year. Now, this is just for North America. 520,000 per year. That's the production number we're going to see in North America. What we know, right, we know Tesla will manufacture the Model 2, both variants in its factory in Texas. So the Gigafactory in Texas will be first place where Tesla will be manufacturing the Model 2. The second place is the Gigafactory in Mexico. There's a whole lot of Chinese suppliers that are setting up factories, setting up facilities, warehouses, etc., in Mexico in preparation for Tesla to come to Mexico. But they're going to they're going to build it in Texas first. It's called a compact crossover. Um, just to confirm for you guys what is officially being termed here from Tesla, so like a smaller version of the Model Y, and has an in, an internal name. It's called Redwood, but the internal name is NV9X. And reports are saying that whilst I mentioned earlier, guys, there's two models, there actually could be more models built on this platform. Tesla is saying two or more. What could that mean? Maybe Tesla have various models on this one platform. That would make a lot of sense. Last month, a Chinese media outlet said Tesla is going to restart the third phase. So the third, they're going to build a third factory at the Gigafactory in Shanghai in order to build the affordable $25,000 Model 2, the different variants they're going to manufacture. They're going to build it there in China as well. So now we're looking at not just Mexico, not just Texas, we're looking at China as well. We know Tesla produces cars in China at a lower cost than they do at any of the other Gigafactories by a mile. In fact, that's where Tesla's real profit center is. It's China. That will help Tesla as well. Now, Tesla have actually begun construction of the Shanghai Phase 3 plant, and that will help Tesla achieve its sales goal of 20 million, said late post report. Now, I don't realistically think Tesla will manufacture 20 million cars a year. The reason I say this is because Tesla are focusing on other things like robotics, in particular robotics, but also their energy division, which made four times more profit than it did one year ago in the fourth quarter of 2023. Getting back to this car though, Tesla plans on manufacturing twice as many Model 2s as Model Y, Model 3, Model S, Model X, and Cybertruck combined. Put them all together, Tesla says it's gonna make twice as many of the Model 2. This is clearly the most important car in Tesla's history. It's not the Model whatever. It's not the Model Y, the Model 3, the Cybertruck, none of them. Tesla is saying this is the car. They've gotta get it right. It's got to have the best battery technology. It's got to be manufactured at the cheapest possible cost, and it's going to be an amazing car to drive. I think it will be. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching.